John Falstrom back here, the ADD4 West Headquarters building. Down below, Dave, got Dave here, got Derek yep. here, our assistant. Um, pretty down below ground. We don't give our location out because, uh, well, we don't for various reasons. We're about 45 minutes south of the historic Wrigley Field and so on, you know. All right, I'm going to talk about double stops right now. Double stops are playing two notes of a chord. You can call it a, whatever, whatever two notes you play together, you can call it a chord. You can make up a chord for it. Two notes at the same time. Now I'm playing a four-string Rickenbacker. Uh, I mainly play four-string, but five and six, seven, eight are all great. Anyways, on this baby, these double stops, I'm going to be using... Uh, my roots on the E string, okay? Uh, and I'll show you what's going on here. Now you know, I don't know if you if you see me, I don't like to use C because C is always used as a beginning one because it's got no sharps and flats, and then unfortunately, you don't get out of C. You don't understand the sharps and flats. So I'm going to go to D. Now I'm going to take the D, the D note on the, on this bass tenth fret right here. You got E. F, G, A, B, C, D. For you bass players that don't, didn't know that was a D, I would learn it. It's better than not knowing it. Trust me. That's a D. Okay. So the first double stop I'm going to show you is just octaves. So I play it. Great sound. You got your root D and you got your octave D. So you're playing two Ds. And you look at my right hand, I'm playing the, the root note with my thumb and the and the octave with my first finger. So you get that effect. So going down. Great sounds. Full sound. Okay? That is the octave. Now you can do that on the A string too. So here's D. Well, I'm gonna take this D and move it right here. And you got those two D's. Same shape. Remember that shape. Octave is probably the most important shape you want to learn to begin with. Here's the root. The octave is always two frets up and a string between them, like that. So here's C. C sharp, D flat. See that? Boom. And as your, as your hand develops, you're going to wind up playing using your first and fourth fingers for these things. To keep your hand natural. You don't want to be stretching all that stuff. See that? Okay, that's, that's your octave. All right. Next one, I'm going to do what we call a um, back to D here. Major chord is D, F sharp, and A, root third, fifth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this third, which is D, F sharp, I'm going to put it up an octopier. A lot of people call it the tenth because uh, it's an octopier in the third. But I look at it as it could just be the root in the third. It's D and F sharp. And here's the sound. You use your middle finger here, little finger here. It's a great sound. So you memorize that. That's a D major chord. And then you just you can play all your major chords now. D flat, C. Keep the same shape. B, B flat major, A major, A flat major, G major. See that? Boom. Even G. You can eat right there. Again, it's knowing your notes, it's knowing your shapes. D and F sharp. Now watch this. I'm gonna go now, take that D, same D. I'm gonna play the root here, and I'm gonna take and go to here. D and A. A is the fifth, which is in the chord, D, F sharp, and A. All major chords are root thirds and fifths. Root third, fifth, D, F sharp, A. You got the root here, you got the fifth here. Thumb on the lower note, the root, A, first finger. Great harmony, great sound. Again, this shape can be moved anywhere you want now. Boom, right there, D flat. C. Now it gets harder because the frets get bigger as you go down. That's about as far as I want to go down right now. B. But up here it gets pretty easy. F sharp. G. Okay? That's root and fifth. That's used as a major chord. So instead of just playing a D or D, you throw that puppy in and you got a harmony note going on. You put that third there too. You got, your, you got your octave, third, I would practice it that way. Root stay 
bass here. Nice. All right, let's move on from there. Let's go D minor. So here's the major third. We'll use a little different finger pattern. Put your middle finger here. And we'll use that third like this with your little finger. Here's a D, here's an F. F is the minor third of D. If you didn't know that, gotta know your notes. Gotta know your notes. If you want, again, if you want to. They're there, they have names. It puts everything in, puts everything together with what you're doing. In my, from my, it's impossible to figure out what you're doing ever if you don't know your notes. Because music works in groups of notes. So if you don't know that was an F, and someone, probably you would know that someone so excited told you it was a minor chord, so you just go to that shape. You have no idea that's an F, but again, if you don't know that, then you don't know that you could play F and A as part of your D minor chord, because the, the notes in D minor are D, F, and A. So this is D minor, so is that, F and A. That's first inversion of D minor, because I know those are the notes. You can't memorize them all these shapes because it's impossible so you got to memorize your notes all right there's a great minor double stop two notes played together d minor and then you got your a again we'll keep the fifth the same so you practice your minor chord like this octave flip your little finger there no problem d and f a okay that these are those are the big ones with the uh one other one i think i'm going to use the uh Either the, we'll call it the suspended chord, right for now. D, major third. Suspended means you take that third, put a fourth in there. Replace the fourth with the third. So it's. So it's G. So you play your suspended chord like that. That's how it looks. Usually resolves in third. Okay? Let's go to our. Um, Move our strings. Let's go to our D and G strings. Now we'll just do the same thing. We'll start with uh, thirds. We'll take D up here. That's a major third. Uh, great sound. I'm just flickering back. Root third. Here's the fifth. C. These are chords. Major chord. Double stop. Double means two notes being played at the same time. That's an A. Okay, back to D. Then you got your minor. Minor third is here. Great sound for the bass. You got to know your double stops. Okay. Um, and the fifth. Here's the big one. D and A, root and fifth. Memorize this shape. Root and fifth. You should know that's a D and A. C sharp, G sharp, C, G, B, F sharp. If you don't want to know it, that's fine. That's your call. play on these things. Alright, those double stops I would recommend learning pretty quick, okay? I'm not going to do inversions today with double stops, I just wanted you to get root position is called, putting that root down on the bottom as the lowest pitch, that's called root position. That's on page 36 of my book EADG4. Uh, the double stops are in that book uh, everywhere. Again, the theory book, my theory book covers all of this stuff and a lot more. These are just these, these, these videos me and Dave have been doing since May, last May 6th, I believe, in the uh, headquarters is, uh, we've gotten real up close with them. We've, we've, we're, we're tearing them apart and better to really see what it looks like and hear it. Okay? We're going to do a couple more, so I'll be right back. Thanks.